don't be afraid to play and mess up and to make your sketchbook look bad. Because if everything in your sketchbook is perfect, then what are you sketching and practicing and exploring for, you know? A sketchbook is to jot down your ideas, to create new ideas, to lead yourself onto new things, you know? Sketchbooks should get you excited, should get you so... I mean, look at me, look at me, I'm so passionate now. They should not be a place of fear, they should not be a place of intimidation, they should not be a place of shying away from... You should be able to open your sketchbook and feel at ease and be like, you know what, today I'm going to make an ugly piece of art. I'm just going to make something so terrible that, you know, I'll love it. Has anyone ever told you that you're using your sketchbook wrong? Yep, you heard me right. Wrong. But Han, it's a sketchbook. How do you use a sketchbook wrong? It's art. There's no rules. Art is art. You can do what you want. Have fun. Whatever. Yes, I do agree. That is true. So take this with a pinch of salt. Personally, I believe there is no place for perfectionism in a sketchbook. Yep, I said it. There's no place for perfectionism in a sketchbook. Have you ever been like so stressed to start a new sketchbook and you're facing the blank page? I find the blank page very intimidating, hence there is nothing on this page and the sketchbook starts on page two. I think I do that because if I look at a sketchbook and I open it and if I mess it up on the first page I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to look at this terrible artwork every time I open my sketchbook so, you know, it's easier just to skip it. Which is kind of sad. I see so many artists, particularly on YouTube, creating these like beautiful sketchbooks where there's so much thought that goes into them and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but I think for beginners it can be really intimidating and it kind of sets this standard for sketchbooks that this is the level that you should be drawing or painting at in your sketchbook and it just adds more fear into starting a sketchbook so with all that intimidation I'm here to tell you make a mess in your sketchbook yep you heard me make a mess completely just like destroy it make it look so bad that all you can do is laugh at it guys Get rid of perfectionism. Make bad art. That is what I need to tell you today. I love watching sketchbook tours and walkthroughs and flip throughs and seeing like the most inner deepest part of an artist that like their emotions and everything that's inside it and then next thing they turn the page and there's like a shopping list. <laughs> I love it. I love the contrast. However, majority of the sketchbook tours that I see portray these beautiful masterpieces on every single page and I'm just like Dude, how do you keep up with this? How do you make every single page beautiful? Like me, my sketchbooks are not like that. All of these sketchbooks here are the ones that I'm currently working on. And again, I want to reiterate, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having perfect sketchbook. But I think when you're starting out, you tend to watch all of these videos and you see all these beautiful pieces and you think that that's what you need to make your sketchbook. You don't need to make your sketchbooks perfect. I feel that perfectionism actually kills creativity because you're so worried about all the tiny details making it look so perfect so that when people look at it, they're like, oh my word. But no, I'm here to tell you, you need to make a mess in your sketchbook. You need to mess that thing up. You need to tear pages off. You need to scribble. You need to just make it look bad. I've been creating sketchbooks for as long as I can remember and these are some of the sketchbooks that I have going on at the moment, like all at one time, like all of these have stuff that I need to finish. <laughs> some of them I'm so proud of, but then some of them are completely average like completely average like I, I look at it and i'm like what on earth is that what 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 so instead of me just talking about everything let me just show you what i mean i think i started this sketchbook in 2020 it's still not done but as you can see there are some beautiful pieces here this was like a watercolor mixed media type thing i don't know all sorts of stuff was going on here and the second page eh, you know it's pretty average nothing too fancy and unfinished hand drawing and again going back into mixed media and watercolor and pen you know we're on it we're on a good roll you know i started off pretty strong got some nice things going on here i'm like wow okay now it starts to like blur a bit because i use soft pastel so it's starting to get a little messy which is great and then oh i love this spread this is pretty cool right you know it, i mean it's not bad but then we have this which I hate, by the way. I don't even know what I was what I was doing here. Then we turn the page and oh we got something good. Like, you know, this is this is pretty good. I don't quite know what to, to describe this. We've got another thing that I'm not quite sure how to feel about. It says be continuously passionate always. I think I was talking about art in, in that context. And then I've got this strange doodle type thing that says okay on it. Got some swatches. Love a good swatch. This is part of a video that I did back in 2020. I'll link it up. It was basically using really, really cheap art supplies with expensive art supplies. Okay, so we've got some typography going and playing doodles, having fun. And then I don't quite know what was going on here, but something happened. Hate this page. <laughs> what is that? I'm a bit shocked <laughs> by what I'm looking at here. Playing with some calligraphy pens. I don't quite have words for this. 
Oh, right. Okay, that is that is a beautiful spread. <laughs> this I liked. I enjoyed that. And then that is a swear word. <laughs> got some patterns. Some more patterns, I guess. I don't even know what that is. Oh my goodness. I don't... <laughs> this is interesting. I was trying alcohol markers for the first time ever. I bought some paint markers. That was the first time I ever tried those. And again, I was just playing around with paint markers. This was a new medium. I don't even know. Oh my goodness, look at this. What is that? I mean, what is that? <laughs> Flowers, I think. Oh, we got some more swatches. And some more swatches. This was for my first time testing out my Himi Gouache jelly paints, which was quite fun. These were some notes for some TikToks that I wanted to make, so I was writing down the notes. Sketches from living in France, things I found. Chicken on my walk. Oh, there was a chicken on my walk that day, so I drew a chicken. And a very scary frog. This was for a TikTok, filming a video. Oh my gosh. I mean, if that doesn't give you nightmares, I don't know what does. Oh, and this. That's nuts. More blank pages. So, as you can see, this sketchbook alone has some beautiful pieces, and then it has some pieces where I look at it and I'm like, Hannah, what was going on inside your mind? <laughs> but this is totally normal. This is how your sketchbook should be. It should be a place to play, explore, experiment, try new mediums, mess up, make mistakes. That is the purpose of a sketchbook. It's also a place to plan, to put your thoughts, to gather what you want to do for bigger, larger pieces. Sketchbooks don't have to be intimidating, beautiful, amazing looking things. I mean, this is called the book of cool stuff and half of it is uncool. Here's another example. I decided I wanted to paint some of the Avengers characters and some of these I love and some of these I hate. But I was having fun and I did one every single day for like, I don't know how long I did it for, like just over a week. But I just kept doing it, even if I hated it. And then we thought, oh, this was a, a landscape. Again, not my proudest landscape. This was just a random little sketch. I was testing out new pens. I got a brush marker for the first time and I was doing all sorts of cool characters. This was for a YouTube video. I was testing out different pens, different markers. I'll link that video as well. It's about giving the best drawing advice you'll ever receive and how your medium, the pen or tool that you use can change your art completely. So if you're ever stuck, change your pen. It's like a hand. Oh, this was Christmas last year. The tree next to our TV cabinet. I decided, hey, that's sketchbook worthy. So it's in the sketchbook. Oh, I love this page. <laughs> I got the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil crowns, so I did a color chart, a swatch of all the colors that I got. I actually love this page. I love it. Got all the colors right there. And this is my life in France sketchbook that I keep. So these are all the things that I find while living in France. Doing live drawings at places, at parks, at lakes, at the beach, my friend's house, you know, having just lots of fun. Like landmarks that I find. But some of these pages, like this, I don't like this page, but I keep it there. You know, these are all just things. I hate the spread as well, can't stand it. I hate the pen that I used to do the outline, but it's there because I look at this and then you can see how I've improved. They get better and better and better. You know, this was in Nice, this was at home, this was in Paris, this was at the mountains in the Pyrenees, this was also at home, this is the Louvre Museum in Paris. I just keep the sketchbook going of things that I see. Some little beachscapes. This was when I was in Mozambique, so this kind of moved out of being my life in France sketchbook and kind of just any random sketchbook. This is my hometown back in South Africa, Durban. Then when I went to Paris, I was bored on the train, so I took the sketchbook and was drawing things that I'd seen in Paris because I went to some of the art museums. So this is full of all sorts of stuff. I mean, I really don't like that. I just don't like it at all. And this. That's so why I crossed out her head, shaded out her face. <laughs> the whole point of a sketchbook is to play, to experiment, to try new medium, jot down ideas, organize your brain, take notes, brainstorm, connect dots, gather references, stick and tape and glue and put all these things together, make collages, scribble over things. Your sketchbook is your playground. Your sketchbook should not be perfect because the creative process is rarely a linear path. Your sketchbook should be full of mistakes and trials and errors. You should not be scared to mess up your sketchbook. For example, this is the first page of my brand new sketchbook that I bought and I drew this and I hate it. 
I cannot stand it. I tried and it didn't look good. And now I'm gonna make a plan to make it look better. I'm not gonna just be like, oh no, and tear it out. That's the worst thing you can do. Don't tear out your pages. Because how are you gonna know how far you've come if you just keep tearing out all the bad stuff? But then on the second page, I love these. I did these sketches of portraits and absolutely love how these came out. But then I turned the page and I did this terrible one. I can't, I can't stand this. I, I really, I don't like this at all. But again, it's there. It's staying. Mm, these are average. So I just use my sketchbooks to play and explore and create characters and, and have fun and whatever. This I was doing a color chart on some of my paints, color mixing. This was a gouache landscape, some cool characters. If you've seen this sketchbook, it's the one that I did the 100 heads in, which I failed <laughs> the challenge, which I'll link up ahead as well. That was no, not cool. But some of these I love, some of these I hate. Some of them I can't stand, like this spread. I don't like it. Oh, I hated this spread. Cannot stand these two. But I don't cross anything out. I don't cover them. I don't tear them out. I don't get rid of them. I keep everything in the sketchbook. I kind of want to help you guys break stigmas of sketchbooks need to be these perfect things because they really don't. You can have some good looking stuff and things that you're proud of and then you can have some stuff that are completely and totally and wholeheartedly average. I, I mean I don't even know what that's about. And this, I mean, I'm a bit confused. This is for my natural paint. If you haven't seen my natural paint on TikTok, go check it out. Otherwise, I've linked it up top as well. I did a natural paint video. I do all my natural paint swatches made out of all natural ingredients. Don't like this, but it's there. Oh, I really love these. These I was so proud of. These were little sketches that actually led up to the idea of some of my NFTs that I did. These are just cool, quirky characters that I was drawing. I did these on a TikTok live and they were really quick and I absolutely loved it. And why? Because I was playing with color. I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing and I was kind of just going with the flow. I was experimenting with playing with different colors and different props on the people and their clothing and accessories and I was having so much fun. And then you have something like this that I... I I mean, I don't even know, like, so bizarre. And this, it's, it's just a leaf. One, it's not even a good looking leaf, but it's there. <laughs> I don't quite know what this is supposed to be. Oh, we got some more swatches. Interesting, more swatches. Again, I have, I have no idea. I have no words. You can see I love doing a lot of swatches. Hi, hello. I was testing out some watermarkers. Oh, this was turmeric natural paint, so I made that with turmeric spice. Swatches, more swatches. What is this? Okay. So in this sketchbook, we have one lone butterfly, and on the next page, scribbles. And then we have some doodles. We have a pastel abstract drawing, and we have a portrait. <laughs> a portrait. And another portrait and another pastel. This was playing with some felt tip markers that I used when I was in like primary school. They were running out. I don't quite know this was supposed to be the ocean, I think. You should not be scared to mess up a page in your sketchbook. We see so many sketchbooks online and we think that they are so perfect and that's what we're supposed to do and that's how they're supposed to look and that's what I should be doing with my sketchbook. And we think it should be nice and aesthetic. No, you are creating your sketchbook for yourself. You should create your sketchbook for you. It's your sketchbook, your visual journal, your visual diary, your thoughts, your feelings, your personal things that are going into the sketchbook. Your sketchbook is a representation of your thoughts. Why are you wanting to make it so perfect for others? So now that you've seen some of my old sketchbooks, there are some really bad pieces in here. <laughs> I mean, some of my worst pieces are chilling in these sketchbooks because you might start off strong and then one day you just decide, you know what, I just want to make a mess. I want to make bad art today. I want to make horrible looking stuff. I want to use colors that don't work together. I want to just smudge everything and just make it look terrible. And sometimes that's what you need. That's, that's that creative thing that you've been craving is just making a mess and getting rid of perfectionism, getting rid of it, going goodbye. I don't need perfect art. I don't need perfect things. I just need to make a mess. Sometimes my brain is all over the place. I need somewhere to put that. I need, I need a sketchbook to just I don't have the words, as you can see, but this is what I use my sketchbook for. And with your sketchbooks, you can have something beautiful that you absolutely love, and then living right next to it is something else living its best life, and you absolutely hate this. I mean, I, I can't stand this page. But it's here, it's not going anywhere. Don't make it perfect. Do not 
make it perfect, please. Another great sketchbook tip is to use everything. Use as many mediums as you can. Play, explore, experiment. Just put everything onto one page. Put nothing onto one page. Just have fun. Make mistakes, draw the same thing 10 times over. You only get better at something if you practice. And sometimes you need to fail before you succeed, as you can see in my 100 heads challenge. But if you're so worried about getting things perfect and not messing up your sketchbook, then how will you get better? How will you improve? I always keep my bad drawings and my bad sketches because then I know where I started and how far I've come. Do not tear out your sketchbook pages. Keep them there. Even if they look terrible, like so terrible, keep them. Do not get rid of them because they're part of the journey. So I hope that this video has helped you realize that having a perfect sketchbook is extremely rare. I've done many, many, many sketchbooks and I've never had a perfect sketchbook ever. There's always something in there that I hate or not supposed to be there or that looks bad. You can't ruin a sketchbook. It is a place to play and to experiment and to explore and have fun and do brainstorms and jot down ideas and stick and scribble. Your sketchbook is there to get better and to practice and to try new mediums. Because how do you know you like something if you never practice it? And if you're too scared to practice it because it's not going to be perfect, then how are you ever going to master that medium? So keep your sketchbook, have fun and just doodle. Doodle, make bad art, make it look so bad that you can just laugh at it and that's the only thing you can do. I do not suggest having a perfect sketchbook. Don't feel intimidated by these perfect walkthroughs that happen. You never know if people are skipping pages or leaving out the bad ones. And again, if people do have perfect sketchbooks, great on you, that's amazing. That's really, really good. But this video is targeting people that don't want to have a perfect sketchbook and want to explore and experiment and not be fearful and not be intimidated and just be able to have fun doing what they love. Like I said, art, sketchbooks, getting better, it's not a linear path. You bounce around like a zigzag, like a spiderweb, and you go in between all the things, and it's just like everywhere. And sometimes your brain feels like that, and you need somewhere to put all of those thoughts. This is where you put it, in your sketchbook. <laughs> If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, drop a comment. I'd love to know your thoughts and your sketchbook tips that you may have or any tips that have helped you get rid of your fear of the big blank white page. If you want to see more art related content, drop a like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon.